Okay. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Alright. Alright then. Alright. I just felt like going back to this old thing. But uh, yeah. Seriously? Uh, Uh, fair enough, Melo. But yeah, but thanks for thanks for stopping by to say hello at least, and hope you hope you have fun with it. But yeah, all right. Mm hmm. And we good? We good? Uh, hello. There we there we go. <laughs> um. Actually, you want the game could be a little bit bigger. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, let's just go with that. Ah, <laughs> uh, scoozy. Anyway, let's let's get started on this. <laughs> I still can't understand it. Somehow I managed to oversleep. And on the big day! Luckily, I arrived right on the money. It was some big deal. They were opening the tomb of some big shot pharaoh. The kids had given up their summer vacation to come and help the professor. Just think, this tomb has remained undisturbed for thousands of years. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm all a quiver. Who knows what lies behind these doors? Untold treasures, <laughs> perhaps. Oh, great! Mysteries! I hate mysteries. Claptrap, shush. Just open the tomb, you silly little man. Sir Alistair Lovelace was a big monkey muck from the London Museum. But he sure smelled like trouble. Her absent, a king from the second dynasty. Wonderful! At last. Oh, to find who knows how many years of. I'm actually quiet for for the cutscene. So, yeah. Human history we've uncovered here today. Uh, Professor, um, I, I, I seem to, uh, uh, that is... Owen, don't juggle those funerary jars. We must respect these ancient relics. Or uh, maybe we should get out of the way for a while. Uh, good idea. You kids can come back tomorrow. This is astounding. Her absent was believed to be aligned with Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. It is even more astounding than your limited perception could ever imagine, Doctor. Ever since I was a poor child on the streets of London, I've dreamed of finding this sort of power. Quickly now, load everything into the trucks, including my esteemed colleague. Soon, my friend, the world will know the power of Set and the genius of me, Alistair Lovelace. Ooh, there are so many evil things for us to do. <laughs> Something was up. I had that feeling I get right before an earthquake. The kids had other things to worry about. 
Well, Joni, I guess this makes you an international jewel thief. Can you at least pretend you're helping, Santiago? I cannot get this thing off. It feels like it's holding onto my finger. Maybe it likes you, Joni. It looks like some sort of ceremonial ring. You'd better let Professor Botch know you have it. Okay, Leslie, I'll tell him tomorrow. But it's so embarrassing. I never should have touched this ring in the first place. We didn't know it then, but Egypt was about to get a lot harder than usual. So, you want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. So yeah, um, just get this, just to get, like, get the obvious thing out of the way. Yes, the villain for this game, Alistair Loveless, is voiced by Charles Martinet, who is who's most well known for voicing Mario, and he was the voice of Mario while, like, before this game came out. So he was already like this was not like a pre-Mario thing. This was while he was still well, like this was around like like early 2000s. So yeah. Anyway, the clue finders need you to help them help them rescue the professor and return the artifacts to their rightful places. But beware, the forces of chaos are at work. You may tangle with giant crocodiles and need to cross ancient underground chasms. If you're ready for this mysterious cat adventure, sign your name below. Yep, Wario, Waluigi, Luigi, Mario. Like, baby Mario, baby Luigi, all of them. Oh, all those voices. And yeah, I, I'm like I'm pretty sure he ch he channeled Wario or or Waluigi or even both for this. Or actually, I think this might have been even been both, but well, might have been before or probably after. But yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. I hate being right all the time, but my instincts told me something bad would happen, and boy did it ever. We'd all gone back to the dig early, but the place was deserted. Everything's gone. Where's the professor? How'd they get all that stuff out of here without being seen? Probably an inside job. And I had a pretty good idea who was behind it. I've got a feeling the professor is in trouble. We've got to help him. How are we going to do that, Joni? We needed a lucky break. Something left behind, or... Socrates found a hidden door. Good boy. Oh. I wonder what it is. Oh. Egyptian kings were always buried with spells of protection and other important writings. This one was hidden away from the other treasures, so it must be very important. And it's our only clue. How can we read it? We need to find someone to translate this scroll. Let's put it in the backpack and get back to Cairo. This mystery could spell trouble. If you're in a jam and you need help, just ask me. I'm here for you. And if you need to know where you are, or you want to take a break, use me. Come on, Clue Finders, let's roll. Welcome to the desert's hottest Jeep dealership. You folks look like you're on your way to Cairo. Am I right? Why, yes. Have I got a deal for you. You can pick any one of my beautiful Jeeps, but only one can make it to Cairo. Multiply the two numbers on the sign above a Jeep to find out how far that Jeep can travel. The sign pointing to Cairo tells you how far you need to travel. Pick the Jeep you want when you're ready yep. to go. Yep, I already, yeah. I won't be looking at chat so super often, but yeah, please, like, try to keep the, like, 
the hints or solving. Like, click on my buttons for all. Click on a number to set an also, activity to I that level. Gonna... So Click yeah, the checkboxes to turn automatic gonna... leveling off or on. And yeah, this, like, we did not skip a game in the chronology. Like, like this this game literally comes after the after third grade. It comes after third grade, so, and pretty much none of this, like, like pretty much anything that, like, cause I mean, yeah. Because we have Socrates, who's age 28, like, top of his class at obedience school, the mascot of World Tomorrow Dog, like, met him, like, on an adventure on Ga Gavistan, the island of talking dogs, or talking animals. And the only animal on the island who did not, who didn't seem to be able to talk, is a PhD, he has PhDs in mathematics, literature, physics, and philosophy from the University of Gavistan. His secret ambition is to, is to send lab trap to obedience school. Yeah. None of this, like, there, as far as I know, there was never any game about that. It, this just, this either, like, this just, yeah, this was just, like, a rare, just a random, like, addition. But yeah, anyway, so, right now, like, so I actually changed the difficulty to the max, so, <laughs> well, okay, this one is our, so it adds decimal. Well, this one already, like, this one, this would be about, like, and I'm, I'm breaking. Oh, we got it. Well, at least you get to see what this is. Just because a jeep has the most gas doesn't mean that it can make it to Cairo. You have to multiply the two numbers on the sign to find out how far the jeep can go. Well, okay. I guess that jeep wasn't the right one. But today's your lucky day. I have three more 95. gorgeous. Step aside. Give me the wheel. Lap traps in charge. Yeah. Oh, good sign. Where to now? We have to find someone who can translate the scroll. Meow. Stop. No. That dog. Socrates, come here. Lucky for us, the place is empty. Oh boy, customers. I didn't hear you come in. Huh. Sorry about that. You caught me napping. When you're 5,000 years old, you need lots of rest. 5,000 years old? Wait a minute. Hey, if you're so old, do you recognize this? Hmm, this. This, as a matter of fact, this scroll tells of an ancient evil. I knew the professor was in trouble. Whoever took your professor is up to no good. He wants to unleash the power of Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. Oh, great! I hate chaos. How can we stop him? Legend has it that the ancients built a mysterious place of power. Those worthy enough to enter would be granted the power needed to stop Set. This scroll has five clues that will guide you on your first step toward locating this place of power. But wait, the clues are written in an ancient code. I can't read this without chiroglyphs. Of course. Oh, chiroglyphs. What are chiroglyphs? Ancient pottery pieces with letters carved upon them. me back 12 chiroglyphs and I'm sure I can decipher the first clue. But where can we find these mysterious chiroglyphs? Hey, you're the clue finders, not me. But it shouldn't be too hard. Luckily, this is the chiroglyph district. Everyone around here collects chiroglyphs. You can count on us. <laughs> Those kids are gonna do fine.
when did they when did they say they were the cow? I don't think they have, they ever introduced themselves as the, as the cool fighters, but whatever. So yeah, we're gonna need to collect some hieroglyphs. Guess we better go find those hieroglyphs. Yep, Owen just has a sandwich with him at all times. Like, like quite resourceful. Anyway, so yeah, let's go look around and find some hieroglyphs. Well, here's coffee's coffee. Excuse me, dude. I mean, uh, sir, we're looking for some hieroglyphs. Do you know where we might find any? Today's your lucky day. I have my old collection right here in the shop. Help my way to deliver the right amount of coffee, and I'll give you a glyph. Right now, the waiter has too much coffee. Solve the math problem on the sign to figure out how much coffee he should have. You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Here we go. That's one. Okay, now, pile the coffee on. Okay. Well, once again, it's 150. Hmm. So. Hmm. Too much coffee. There you go. Your mental capacity is astounding. Okay, now, pile the coffee on. 120. Hey, how about we trade hot coffee for your hard work, huh? Oh, okay, okay, take this here glyph. Well, that's it. Huh? Well, he's all out of out of hieroglyphs, but but we might have to come back here later. Like, it's gonna take also also it's gonna take a little bit to get used to the mouse control for this because the resolution is actually a lot smaller than. Like than than my actual monitor, so the, so the cursor starts moving around a bit too much. So yeah, let's try let's try this way. Fabrics. Dude, I wonder if there are any hieroglyphs hidden in all this cloth. Cloth. Hello, this is fabric. It's gorgeous. I've had customers all over Cairo screaming for it. <laughs> but they always tell me how much to cut as a fraction problem. Check out the request on the sign. It's your turn to do the math. For a hieroglyph, of course. Cut off just the right amount from one of these four bolts of fabric hanging off the top shelf. Just move my scissors over the fabric. When the piece is exactly the right length, let go of the scissors to cut it. Okay, so two and a half to that. So, that would be a thing. Okay. Okay, yeah, that would be a, it would be another, it would be one and three fourths. Awesome! Here's a chiroglyph. There you go. Could you, like, totally handle this for me? That would be, that would be five fourths. This is the most perfectly cut piece of fabric I have ever seen. You have totally moved me. No way. Another order? Okay, so. That would, well, it would be. You rock. You roll. You make fractions from a hole. Uh, that was my last hieroglyph. I am so bummed. Well, that's the last car character from her, so yeah. Yeah, I believe like yeah, I believe there are four different mini games that we have to play in order to get a like in order to get the next uh, thingy mob mob or order to get the first translation. But here's the Sorry, all my boats are rented right now. When you're ready to leave Cairo, come back again. We'll be back. Okay, so yeah, there's here the boat rental place where we just 
where we'll just need to come back here with ready to leave Cairo, but we're not quite in to leave Cairo just yet. Also, for some reason, you can just do the click on this. Like, I. But click on the that thing, or that statue, I mean. It's gonna take a little bit to figure out where we're supposed to go, but here's actually yeah, here's the next one. Ah, what have we here? Visitors! I hear you're looking for chiroglyphs. Well, you've come to the right place. Read the question on the banner, then drag the stone with the correct answer from the wall onto the sled. Every time you answer two questions, I'll give you a chiroglyph. Okay, so, when did Set attack the moon? Set was... wait... Every month, yeah. Who did the, the Egyptians blame for natural disasters? Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. Alright. Can you solve this one? Who is the leader of the French army? Uh, which god gods were fighting in the heavens? You are very skilled, young ones. Here's a chiroglyph. Here's another challenge for you. Please, try again. That stone is almost right, but the answer is mixed in with other words. You need to find a stone that has the correct answer all by itself. Okay, fine. Fuck. Fuck. Like... <clears throat> What's the name of, of the pharaoh discussed in this paragraph? Guy. You are very skilled, young ones. Here's a chiroglyph. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. So, so we just gotta find one, there's just one more mini game that we gotta find before we get get our first. Also, okay. Here's the bird statue that we need to click on. I think we should get all the clues translated before we start poking around. Yeah, so we... yeah. So yeah, we're gonna need to, like... There's a... It's a little odd to look at, but whatever. Okay. Thank heavens you're here. Customers all over the world are clamoring for my goods, and my atlas has vanished. Can you help me get these parcels out? We'd be happy to help you, ma'am. Especially if you can help us out with a couple of chiroglyphs. Very well, then. For every two packages you help me ship, I will give you a chiroglyph. Read the directions on the package and tag. Then use the pin to show the parcel's correct destination on the map. My customers will be delighted. Okay, 350 borders the Atlantic Ocean. Is exceptional. Okay. First one. Ah, more packages. Central time zone. West, like west of New Orleans. So. 
lost. Here you are, my friends. Okay, we can actually skip the animation. Okay, 1,500 feet and above, and it and borders California. There we go. Excellent. State the state borders on Canada. Risk of hurricanes. Hurricane risk yellow. So hey. You are such a help to me. This state experiences tornadoes. Part of the state is a is an, an earthquake and volcano risk zone. Glyph, young adventurers. I'm all out of chiroglyphs, but I could still use your help. But yeah, we can keep playing if we, we keep doing this if we want, but you don't get anything. Anyway, that is all 12 chiroglyphs that we need for the first clue. So. This here is a map of Cairo. You can use it to travel to other places in Cairo, as long as you've been to those places before. We're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Great! Give them all to me! Okay. Thankfully, you don't need, don't need to be too specific. You can just place it down. Well, chiroglyphs! Good work! Hmm, yeah, aha! Here it is! Here okay. is your first clue! Out of stone I am made, great secrets underlaid. What am I? Statue. Cool. I wonder what it means. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on, clue finders. Four more clues to go. All right, now we just get Now I suppose you guys will want to go tromping back to those shops to get more chiroglyphs. Yep. Back we go. Okay, that's where we that's where you go if you want to go go here. And yeah, you can come back here and like so yeah. Not too much to look at here. Yes, 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 young adventurers. Fewest natural hazards. Not a coastal state. Arizona. Interesting. My customers will be delighted. Hmm, I guess according to this, this Arizona is the safest state. Except for all the heat, but whatever. Uh, the, the city is far farther west than Boston. And it's in the eastern time zone. Well, then it's... Uh, wait. Farther, okay, farther west. Okay. So, New York. Excellent! Okay, farther south than Portland. So, Portland, yep. City in the same time zone as Los Angeles. So, San Francisco. Here you are, my friends. Mountain time. Mountain time zone. East, like... Is to the east of Salt Lake City. Yeah. Your skill is exceptional. Okay, borders on Idaho. Like elevation 1500 and above. So, Montana. Here you are, my friends. Okay, west of Denver, and Mountain Time Zone, Salt Lake City. 
I said, Salt Lake City. A chiroglyph, young adventurers. Alright. 190. Okay, that's it. Mm. What we have? Hmm. Okay. You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Yep. Okay, now, pile the coffee on. 180. Oh, well, okay. First, we need to actually... Hmm. There we go. You are so smart. Well, I'm glad you're working for me. More coffee? This stuff flows like the Nile. I think 70. Hmm. There we go. You are so smart. Well, I'm glad you're working for me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I'm all out of chiroglyphs for now. Alrighty then. Fabric. Welcome back. Okay, seven points. Awesome. Okay, and that would be down two. That is going to make the most totally stunning. Okay. Three, three forks. That is going to make the most totally stunning outfit. That fabric is like so in. <laughs> and Lord it is so much better now. Select the stone that answers the question and put it on the sled. Okay, town where the Rosetta Stone was found. Just, okay, it's just literally <laughs> called Rosetta. You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. Okay, what what had Horus and Set been battling over? Who would rule? A great thing. But of course. And now, a new problem. Okay, thought means... Ask his people. Okay. Osiris? But of course. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. And that's... Yeah, we've already done the second... Done the second one. Professor, oh. I trust your quarters are comfortable? You have quite a wonderful dungeon, Loveless. Tenth Dynasty, I believe. You know, there's a funny story here involving a king that... Yes, yes, I've heard it. Now then, Professor, you must come with me. It's time we had a little... talk. How nice! Shall we talk about Egypt? Don't feign ignorance with me, Professor! You will answer my questions. You will. Uh-oh. 
we're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Actually, do we, do we just... We just drop them anywhere. There we go. Haha! -ha! Here's the next clue. Right. An icon carved of ancient stone, missing only my rightful throne. Who am I? Okay. Cool, but what does it mean? I'm working on it. Come on, clue finders. Let's go get those chiroglyphs. Oh, joy! Yeah. All right, we got. We gotta do it again. Okay. Um, I'll be one. Two, I knew it. My wonder kids have. You sure got the hang of this business. Take. Okay. One sixty. You kids sure keep the customers happy. Here's another glyph for you. Uh, wake up, kids. Uh. Here we go again. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Your mental capacity is astounding. Well, that's it. I'm all out of Kyra glyphs for now. Thanks for the hydrate. Anyway. I have one oh. question, Professor. Where is the ring? And what ring would that be? You know what I'm talking about, Professor. The ring. The ring. The ring. The ring. The ring. Do not mock me, Professor. Don't mock you. You will tell me where to find the ring. Otherwise, your students will... Wait. Your students. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I'm sure that I'm sure everything will be fine. Anyway, fabric. Oh, I am so Good happy. To awesome. Here's a chiroglyph. Could you like? Total Okay, um here is one and three but we could actually get That is going to make yeah, the most can, you can still totally like that. stunning outfit. That fabric is like so Anyway, two and one four. I am so in awe of you. You rule. Uh, that was my last chiroglyph. I am okay. so bummed. Okay. Next up. Pull the correct stone from the wall Which and move it to the sled. Ah, reach. How did Benat Benaded feel? Weary. Ha ha ha! You are very wise. Okay, trap for Osiris. What did Fafis wait for?
Oh, it waited for a solar eclipse. You are very skilled, young ones. Here's a chiroglyph. And now, how about this one? What did Osiris change into in order to fly? Dip, bite, 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 or Cyrus would have to change it to a Bennu bird. Who swallowed raw every night? Hey, hey, hey. But of course. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on cut. And this lady. Ship, ship, ship. Let's keep those packages moving. 350 feet. Borders the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. Lord. You are s Okay. City to the west of New Orleans. Central time. Did we have this question already? A chiroglyph, young adventurer. Okay, 1,500 feet and above. Step borders California. I feel like we had this question before. Borders Canada, risk of hurricanes. Experiences tornadoes. Yeah, Wyoming. When it is 6 p.m. in Maine, it is 1 p.m. in this state. I'm not sure that's the right spot. Could you check the map again? Is exceptional. And that's the last one. All right, third clue. Let's go. The next clue. All right. A lonely vigil. I guard the gate. Five thousand years, and still I wait. Where am I? Hmm. A five thousand year old stone icon with a throne? Missing a throne. Are we through now? No, Lab Trap. We've got to get the rest of these clues and find the professor. Let's go. Yep, and let's go. All right, you're back. Your exuberance knows no. There we go. You sure got the hang of this business. Take. Okay, ninety. Your mental capacity is astounding! Okay, coffee breaks over. Okay, um, 180? You can sure keep the customers happy! Here's another glyph for you. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm all out of ca- I'm all out of car glyphs, so let's... Alright, now... If you're still searching for chiroglyphs, you've... Two and... Two and one four. Awesome! Here's a chiroglyph. 
Could you take this order? Okay, um, one and three fourths. I don't think that piece of fabric is right for this oh, customer. Oh, plus. This is the most perfectly cut. Sorry about that. Okay, um, well, that's three. You literally just do anything. That is going to make the most totally stunt. Okay, there we go. Already done here. Okay, Horus if we set where you move more. the correct answer to the sled. I've still got more chiroglyphs. Write or write a letter? Okay. Ha <laughs> I just like this guy's voice, honestly. Like, just... Yeah. Okay. Okay, how do people feel when the eclipse occurred? Right. But of course. Okay, for the time of raw does like time of day does raw first appear. Sunrise. Besides Greek, what other language was on the rose at a stone? Hieroglyphs. But of course. Oh, there we go. Farther west than Boston, east of Tom Zone. Farther south than Portland. Uh, Lost Lake, San Francisco. East of Salt Lake City, Mountain Time Zone. Borders Idaho, it's Montana. Um, west of Denver, Mountain Time Zone. Salt Lake City. Read the directions. Okay, Pacific Time Zone. Nevada. All right. Find the children. Follow them. When the time is right, take the ring and oh. bring it to me. Now uh -oh. go. The time is fast approaching. Soon, the whole world will know the name. Alistair Loveless the third. <laughs> Not the third. We're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Great! Give them all to me! Man, I, like, I would, like, I feel like I would would be able to do this faster if, I, if my mouse wasn't so advanced. I, mean, I don't know. Aha! Here's the next clue! Okay, then. By likeness, I immortalize! And behind me, my treasure lies! Hmm, I wonder what it means. Let's go, there's one more clue to translate. Okay, one last clue to translate, so bear with us one more time, we're doing this. One, I one knew it! My wonder kids have returned! You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here. Okay, um... One... 
Like 180? There you go. You kids sure know your math. You deserve a caroglyph. Yeah. Uh, wake up, kids. Uh, one tech. Here we go again. You are so smart! Well, I'm glad you're working for me! Well, that's it. I'm all out of chiroglyphs for now. Oh. And that's the last of the chiroglyphs for... This guy. Central time zone, west of New Orleans. Oh. Austin. We're getting repeat. We're getting repeats. Nevada. Maine. Wyoming. S uh, actually, isn't it? Read the direct. Okay. Um, U.S. natural hazards. Not a coastal state. I'm not sure. Read. Oh, and there we go. Okay. All right. Egyptian god Osiris. Read the question carefully, then move the correct stone. Jealous and angry. It's interesting though. Like they ha they had to make a bunch of these passages. Like and have a, and make a bunch of questions so that like so that a lot of these pieces can be used. Like kind of interesting. Okay, how me is using his plan. Um, slower eclipse. Mm mm. Really. Using his plan, he had an idea. Oh, what God did? Okay. Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. When did Sent attack the moon? Um, every month? Yep. Um, who did blame for natural disaster? We had this question before. I think, I think they ran out of questions and we're like, uh, we can't go any high. We can't. We can't make the difficulty any higher than this, so we gotta repeat the questions. Which gods were fighting in the heavens? Versus that. Again, you succeed. Well done. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. Well, one last one. Do you want some more chiroglyphs? I've got fabric that needs cutting. Two and one fourth. Awesome! Here. Okay. Two and one half. I am so. Two and one fourth. Oh wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. One and one fourth. I am so in awe of you. You rule. Uh, that was my last chiroglyph. I am so bummed. Well, too bad. Once I have the ring, I can proceed with the ceremony. <gasps> Are you getting married? How lovely. I'm not getting married, you twit. I am an evil man. And, <laughs> and I am up to no good. Hey, what sort of a ceremony is this, anyway? Ah, so you're finally beginning to understand. 
With the ring, I will focus the astral energy that will unleash the power of Set. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Oh my. This could be a problem. <laughs> he might be serious about this. We're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Great! Give them all to me! And there we go. Ah! Here's the final clue! Final clue. Tap the beard, then twice the knee, then the secret door you'll see. Beard and the beard. Hey, now twice. that sounds like something we can handle. Yeah, these clues are starting to make sense. Right. It's made of stone, it belongs on a throne, and if we use the clues properly, it will unlock a door. And bring us closer to finding the professor. Let's go, clue finders. The application of a little brain power should enable us to solve the riddle of these five clues. Yeah, what Leslie said. Okay, so... Oh no! Whoa! Dudes, that rocked! This must be the place the antique dealer told us about. Let's get in there and take the next step toward finding the professor. Indeed. In we go. Now then. Oh, hi. How did he get here before us? <laughs> when you get to be 5,000 years old, you learn about a secret passage or two. <laughs> so what's the deal? I thought you said the secret that would lead us to the place of power would be here. Patience! To unlock the secret, you must first solve this ancient puzzle. Use the colored pieces to complete the rectangle on the wall behind me. To rotate a piece, move it over the picture of the worker in the hoop. To flip a piece over, move it over the picture of the two workers. Okay, then. Ah. So, we need to figure out how to solve this puzzle. And I'll be honest, I am not the best at these kind of puzzles. So we might be here for a little bit.
yeah, we could do that. Then we could do that. Then... Here, and then... No, I don't think so. Uh, here, then... Well, let's, I guess I'll see. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, um... Not quite. That. But for uh, still not quite. Hmm. Sometimes you need to flip a piece over to get it to fit into the puzzle. Thing. To clear your work and begin the puzzle over, use the reset button. Okay, um. Sometimes you need to flip a piece over to clear your work. Sometimes you need to. Okay, well, those hints really do not help. Wait, what about this? Then. Then it, then it would have to be there. Hmm. But then, how do we... Hmm. Oh, it's actually... We have to do this exact puzzle. No matter how you plead, you must solve the puzzle to unlock the secret. To rotate a piece, move it over the picture of the worker. <sighs> These puzzles are my bane. Like, I, I keep going to this layout. Like, I keep, like, I keep instinctually going to this layout, I feel like. Uh, but then that one is this. So this one has to be this.
to rotate a piece. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Well, I mean, that can't be there. Or it wouldn't be there either. Wait, wait. Okay, like that. Then... Like that. Well, then like, this has to be this one. So, that, so far that looks like... I'm pretty sure that's half... Sometimes you need to flip a... Okay, we can't do it that way. But it has to be here. It has to be this piece. Dumb. Am I just am I just dumb being dumb right now? <sighs> to rotate a piece, move it over the picture of the worker. Check it out! It looks like there's another scroll in there! Oh my gosh. Uh, I thought just puzzles. Oh no! I can't read a word of this. Can you help us out? Kids these days, these are simple hieroglyphics. When did they stop teaching hieroglyphics in school? So, what does it say? Well, it goes something like this. <coughs> the threat to our land is deep and dark. Stopping it won't be a walk in the park. But you have proven worthy and wise. What a swell bunch of gals and guys. Yeah. But when the pretender tries to take the throne, you won't be able to stop him alone. 
You'll find allies in a secret place on the Nile, but getting there may take you a while. You can't walk or fly there. You'll have to float. So get out of here and go south in a boat. Oh, yuck. That has to be the worst piece of poetry I have ever heard. Well, you heard the man. Let's go find a boat. Yeah, so we're going to find a boat. And when did we see a boat last time? Well, boat rental. Hello there. We're headed south and in a hurry. Do you have a boat we can rent? Sure do, <laughs> but there's some assembly required. Here's what you gotta do. Select the parts you want from the sign. You need one hull, one motor, and one sail. When you're ready to go, launch the boat. Don't worry, I've got plenty of spare parts. You can build another boat. Notice that the river is flowing to the north, but the wind is blowing to the south. We need to build a boat that will sail up the river to the south. Actually, we need to build a boat that will sail to the south. Oh, okay, there we go. We had to mix and we had to mix parts a bit this time. The boat's coming to a stop by itself. And look, there seems to be a large obelisk behind those trees. I wonder if that's the secret place on the Nile the antique dealer mentioned. Mm -hmm. Owen's right. Clue finders, let's dock this boat and check it out. Oh, joy! Yeah. Hello, darlings. I see you have found your way to my palace. The help you seek lies within. All right, let's go in. I'd love to let you through. But first, there is the small matter of the palace doors. As you can see, they are covered with lovely gems set in beautiful patterns. But some of the gems were stolen by the vile mice in this area. Why don't you go and get them back? Well, darling, these mice are a little bizarre. They seem to be convinced that they are ancient Egyptians and spend their days building pyramids and columns and such. They are a little too weird for me. Ah, uh, don't be such a fraidy cat. Let me propose a bargain. If you get those awful mice to give you back the stolen gems and use them to complete the pattern on each of my five doors, I will open the doors for you. When you have repaired all five doors, you can enter the palace. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go see those mice. Yep. How weird can they be? Here. Hey, you're right on time. <laughs> I'm fixing up it. Master Builder. This palace is going to be state of the art. Ten floors, 50 car garage, 250 watt stereo system, an ancient Egyptian temple with all the modern amenities. Cool, uh -huh. if that's what you want. To help me build a column, drag the column pieces from the ground onto the column base. Uh -huh. You need to build a column that's exactly the height shown on the blueprint. Yep. Build three columns and earn a gem. Hey, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Sure. Oh, -ho, you could build your own palace. Okay, that's one. Um, let's see. Hello. Hello. 
You have done a gem of a job. <laughs> Put this in a safe place like that, uh, that backpack. That's one gem. Okay, set them up. That's one. Hey, most excellent. All right, now. This one. Now that's quality craftsmanship. Okay. That. Oh, yep, that works. You are saving me time. Okay, one more time. Okay. Hey, most excellent. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. A little sleepy. You have done a gem of a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you earned it. Okay, you can still help, but <laughs> I won't be able to pay you. Well, bye. So, can I just pop over here? Hey, dude, what you building? I'm not a dude, I'm a mouse, see? And we're building a pyramid, one sentence at a time, see? And we could use some giants like you, yeah. How much does the job pay? Don't worry about that, kid. You'll earn a gem. Okay, now, a couple of the stones in this sentence are wrong. Fit the stones with the correct words into the sentence, see? Okay, comment in peace. You're doing all right, see? Keep this up and you'll go places, kiddos. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. <laughs> Let's keep those stones moving. You birds are sharp, real keen, yeah, that's it. Let's go, you mice. We've got lots of work to do, see? Uh-huh. Let's keep those stones moving. Not a bad gig, eh? I'm impressed, yeah. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. Hey, uh, I got a little problem. I'm temporarily out of gems, see? I may have some more later, but if you want to stay and help, that's okay with me. Yeah. Oh, bye. This way. And we got two other paths right this way. Okay. Hmm, what have we here? Greetings! I am the great artist of this land. I have just drawn a masterful hieroglyph here. You can help me by making a sentence to describe my drawing. Move the stones from below into the space okay. underneath my drawing. Choose the words that best describe my beautiful pictures. When you're like done, put this. The large beast leaps at. You 
you and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! Here's another masterpiece. Every time you complete two sentences, you'll earn a gem. Not a bad deal, huh? Well, two gems, like, like two... Two... yeah. A mule... A mule... Holes... A... Cart... Quickly... Down... You yeah. understand my unique style, no? As a bird must fly, so I must, like, paint. Okay. A sailor watches the bird fly to the Rock. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. And now for another, like, masterpiece. As a kid, I didn't understand that he was looking up. I thought he was just... I always thought he just... Like, uh, his head absorbed into his head or something like that. Into his mouth or something like that. It always it looked weird to me as a kid. Hey... Graceful bird will fly to a rock in the sea. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! See your pals, check out this hieroglyph. The hawk will catch the delivering neck. You understand my unique style, no? no. Yeah. Here's another one. Okay. A man watches a bird fly high in the sky. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. Okay. It is marvelous to have your help, but for now I'm all out of gems. Well, that's all the gems for today, or for this, for, for now. So, we'll go over here and see. Greetings, can we help you? Can you help me? My dear child, you can have my job. I am Postmaster General, and these are my associates. Uh, hello? You need to direct my associates from the start position on the map all the way to the cheese. To tell them how to get there, move the pieces with the correct directions on them from below onto the scroll here. All right, this is actually this is probably my favorite mini game in this game so yeah so we need to get to the cheese so one two three three miles like three or four miles for one two or is it four miles south okay yeah Oh, one square is two miles. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, six miles south. North. One, two, three, four, five. Ten miles north. And that and then one, two, three. Okay, then two miles east, then Let's get a move on. Hey, fellas! Cheese! Oh, you are the clever one. Here's a gem. There we go. <laughs> I like you kids. So winsome and winning. Winsome and winning. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, one, two, three, four. Um, eight northwest. Six to west. One, two, three, four. Um, eight miles. West is this one. Then we need to go south. One, two, three, four. Eight miles south. But one, two, three, so six miles south. Four miles southwest. is the key to the completion of our mission. Hey, fellas! Cheese! You're so clever. You can take my job. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, are we done? Not yet. Okay, so... We could also go backwards, like if we need to. So, so two miles southwest would work. Okay, 
four miles southeast. We'll go one, two. One, two, three, four, five, ten miles west. The only way west is... Hmm. Like, we have to go... Okay. Uh, doing alright. Just... just mathing. Okay, so I think around the middle. I think this would have to be, it would have to be this one in the middle. Oh uh, wait, I Yeah, southwest. The only way west is one, two, three. Ow, ow, ow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the only way west, it it seems. Seems like south, then, but then, okay. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But. Wait, 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 wait. Two miles southeast. And then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then um I'm guessing ten miles east. And then, and then four miles southeast. Alright, you rodents, spread out. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, fellas! There we Jeez. go! At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done. <laughs> I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you're wonderful. You'll work for... Nope, we're done. This here is... We're back, and we have all 12 gems. All Just right. take the gems from your backpack and use them to complete the pattern on the door. That's so. all you need to do. Okay. How oh, magnificent! You have unlocked the first door! Now there are only four more to go. You will need twelve more gems from those horrid mice for the next one. Come back when you have the gems you need to repair the door. Alright then. Alright, now we just need to do that. Do, the, do all these four more times. Fantastic! Fabulous places, everybody! Action! Roll em. Okay, northwest. Or two miles north. Or two miles northwest. Um, 
Okay. Um, yeah. This is the only one that goes northwest. Then, two miles west. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve miles south. Rodents spread out. There we go. Hey, fellas! Cheese! Gotcha. Oh, you are the clever one. Here's a gem. Yeah. <sighs> I like you kids. So winsome and winning. I feel like we're getting in repeat repeats of these maps. So, about, I guess four miles north. Four miles north. One, two, four miles northeast. One, two, three, six miles north. One, two, three, six miles east. One, two, three, then six miles south. What happens if we... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Let us expedite our task, fellas! For rapidness is the key to the completion of our mission! Uh-huh. Hey, fellas! There we Jeez. go! At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done! Alright. Oh. Alright, alright, set him up! One, two, okay, four, mi four miles northwest. One, two, three, four, five. Ten miles west. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen miles south. Then north, then to Okay, let's get a move on. Alright, here we go. Hey, fellas! Jeez! There we go. You're so clever. You can take my job. And yeah. Alright, that's three things we need for him. So. Ooh, I'm so happy that you're back. I All knew right. I could count on you. A man swims skill skillfully in the choppy ocean. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. Okay. Here's another masterpiece. Every time you complete two sentences, you... Okay, the... wait. We already had this one. The large beast leaps at the man. We already had this one. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique. Hey, yeah. pals, check out this hieroglyph. <laughs> yep. A meal fuels a cart quickly down a road. Boop. You understand my unique style, no? Yeah. Here's another one. Okay, a, a sailor watches the burb 
fly to the rock. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. As a bird must fly, so I must. A graceful verb will fly to a rock in the sea. I have a feeling they didn't have too many questions for the. You and I, as a duo, the, like, we are the... magnifique! And now yeah, for like, another, they... like, masterpiece! The hawk will catch the swiveling snake. You understand my unique style, no? No. It is marvelous to have your help, but for now I'm all out of gems. Well, that's all the gems we get from this guy. So... This guy. I've got gems, see? And plenty of them. Yeah. Conquered Egypt, including Alexander the Great. You're doing all right. The Ramses defeated the Assyrians who came from the sea. You bird to go to east. The Greeks couldn't couldn't identify pictographs of the god god of silence. You giants are headed to the big town if you keep this up. Yeah. Let's go, you mice. We've got lots of work to do, see? Right. So one of the quicker hey, ones we could do. We gotta stop meeting like this. So I'll wait. Okay, uh, well I guess this one. Yep. Hey, most excellent. Yep. Okay, so you have done a gem of a job. Ha <laughs> You are saving me time. Okay, one more time. 6.4. Now that quality craftsmanship okay now and that wouldn't work huh Um, that, well, actually, no, not quite, not quite there, hmm, actually, it's this one, isn't it? Yep, mm -hmm. there we go. Put this in a safe place like that. <laughs> yep. All right. Not quite. Yep, there we go. 4. Oh, oh, you! You can build your own palace. No, that's too much. Uh, this one? Yep, there we go. Nice. Oh, oh. Okay, then. And that, and that's the last gem. Yep, that's all the gems we need. Oh. 
Oh. The time is fast approaching, Professor. Soon my minions will return with the ring, and the <gasps> power of chaos will be mine to control. Oh, you no. can't control chaos, Loveless. Uh, can you? You're, you're tangling with forces beyond your comprehension. Nonsense, my dear Professor. I comprehend just fine. With the power of Set at my side, the world will soon rue the day they ever heard of me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I swallowed my mint. I always remember that, that line, for some reason, it's just, that line I always remembered. We're back, and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack, and use them to complete the pattern on the- Wait. Okay. Um, I think it has to be, we have to be yellow. You could even just just count One, two, like that. Um. But yeah, I I like how how this one. Instead of just giving 12, 12 hieroglyphs, you're actually solving a puzzle to do this. Just like that. Darlings, you are truly fantastic. You've managed to repair the second door. I'm afraid you need to go back to those dreadful mice to gather up 12 more gems. Yep. The third door is buried even deeper within the palace. Come back when you have the gems you need. Right, so. So, yeah, we're going to need to get more gems. Uh. Uh huh. So, you want to know what happens? Okay, now this work will have to be unpaid. The time is fast approaching, yeah. Professor. Well, gotta do this again. We're back. And okay. Um. Well, that was unfortunate. You must feel all of. Okay, it's nice that she puts. She, that she does that. Darlings, <laughs> you are true. We need a. Okay. There we go. Uh. Am I glad to see you? I was beginning to think I might have to do all this work myself. We're getting repeat, so. I'm like. We're get like this we're getting the same ones over and over again, so I am just gonna just set it to a lower level so that we can actually get So are we done? Different Not stuff. yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen miles north. One, two, three, four, five, ten miles west. One, or even, nope, 
Nope, not, not quite. Okay. One mi one mile south. And then or wait. Or no no. No 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 no. Four miles south. And then eight miles southwest. Let us expedite our task, fellas! For rapidness is the key, the key to the to completion our of, our of our mission. mission. There we go. Oh, you are the clever one. I like you kids. So winsome and winning. Nope, nope, nope. So I feel like it's telling me, like, hmm, I feel like I've already done this one before. But one, two, three, four. Four miles, okay, eight miles west. Or ten miles west. One, two, three, four, five. Well. Okay, so two miles east is probably the end. Or yeah. One, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, um... One, two, three, four, five... So that wouldn't work. So like, All right, you're all just spread out. Okay, let me just. Hem, where's the cheese? Give it another go. Take your time, and remember, each square on the map represents one mile. A oh. little geographic knowledge can go. Oh, wait, I was going. Whoops. Okay. Uh, wow, oh, you wait, kids never mind. quit. You've got character and guff. Okay. Four. 
Okay, it's not southeast. And after reaching it, or is it just... Oh, the vicissitudes nope. of our current circumstances. Try again. Uh, okay. Use the compass, Rose, to help you figure out... There we go. You're so clever. You could take my job. All right. <laughs> I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you're wonderful. You'll work for free, right? Nope. The more like sentences you build, the sooner. The man watches the. Or actually, directs the sailboat's course. Okay. Your sentences are as good as... Lab Trap, when we finally solve this mystery, I'm gonna break out my art. A swims. A man swims skillfully in the choppy ocean. Boop. Oh, we. You and I, as a duo, we are magnific! Mm -hmm. Here's another one! Alright, um... Okay, we're getting repeats again. And if we're gonna get... And if we're gonna get repeats, we might as well just make them easier. That sentence needs more words. Keep on working. Okay, the wild bird. Thank you very much. Okay. You understand my unique you style. Your... A heron. across the stream and sand. Boop. Boop. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. And now for another, like, masterpiece. Okay. The oversized Bird lies slowly overhead. Yep. You and I, as a duo, we are okay. A boat sails calmly down the Tisfa River. Yep. Mm 
<laughs> you understand my unique style. Good idea. I should probably. I need to. Take, I need to use the restroom. So I'll take a bathroom break. So be right back. Well, here we go again. You work, you earn. See? Okay, okay, I'm back. Okay, the Great Pyramid of Khufu is a... is a... surviving wonder of the Afric ancient world. You're doing all right, see? Keep this up and you'll go places, kiddos. Yeah, sure, I'm... I Let's go, it. you... Oop. What? Whip wallet? Like, helped... help guide Ra on his journey... Not a bad kid, the the rid like the types hmm something doesn't you birds are sharp, real keen. Yeah, that's it. All right, bring on the blocks. This guy. Back for more, huh? Well, this will be a piece of cake since you're a seasoned veteran. Okay, so. Oh. Right. This one? Yeah. Hey, most excellent. Most excellent. Excellent. Here! <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> More columns! <laughs> Here we go! Mm-hmm. Oh, this is actually at the oh, height of a. You could build your own house. Like a pretty good height for a column, I guess. Mm -hmm. You have done a gem of a job. And. Oh, there we go. You are saving me time. And money, I guess. Okay, set them up. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yep, exact six inches. You have done a j- I have a foot. Oh, well, this one's easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could build your own palace. Okay, and... There we go. Put this in a safe place like that, uh, that backpack. Yeah. 
that. We're almost halfway through. Oh! Hey, look out! Hey, let go, you big bully! Hey, uh, come on, fight fair! Hey, I can take you! I Stop, let go! Oh, uh, Tagu, Siam, Sing, come to Papa, little ring. Yuck! Is that thing alive? Fascinating. Yeah! Hey, you guys feel like giving me a hand here or what? Oh, sorry. Oh, no! They got the ring! <gasps> Wait a minute. Who were those guys? I... yeah. I remember being so scared of, of seeing that scene. Because it just happened so suddenly, but... yeah. Like, as a kid, I mean. We're back, and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack, and use them to complete... Oh, I guess it's... You know, if that's how, the, if that's how they react to, like, to Joni being grabbed, I would hate to see what, like, how they would react to, a, like, an act... Like an actual serious situation. Like, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, wait. There we go. Well done. How wonderfully you restore the ancient patterns. Only two more doors remain between you and your goal. You'll there need go. twelve. Twelve more gems. So, let's do it. Aha, my young assistant, you're back. I, I really feel like we're getting, we're just getting the same problems again. I like you kids, so winsome and winning. You know what, why don't we just show what hap- like, like, what, let's show this one, show it like, like how easy these are on- Alright, alright, set them up. So, yeah, only two of them this time. And, four miles east, and seven miles north. Alright, you rodents, spread out. Like, it's pretty simple. Oh, you are the cl Wow, you kids never quit! You've got character and guff! Let us expedite our test! So, are we done? Not yet! So, yeah. The okay. Wow, you kids never quit! You've got character and guff! Well, um. Yeah, that was Sentences. Bonjour. You're just in time. I'll, I'll be honest. These two are not my favorite. And I've been able to, and, I, and yeah, I was able to clear the fourth level, so might as well just put the game. Let me just take it easy in this one. The Ryan jumps at. The gazelle. Wow. Your sentences are as good as okay. my Hi, drawings. Boys. Here's another masterpiece. Every time you. Y yes, yes, yes. The ox pulls the cart across the. Through the gym. Heard. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! And now... The hawk will grab a fish Fish out of the river. 
you and the and Egret roams across the field to the revile. Okay. A heron walks across a creek to a fell. There we go. Okay. Other woman. Uh, whoop, 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 wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, a uh, heron. The the woman watching the bird fly toward her. We well done, but I'm still out of gems. Oh, as a whoops. bird must fly. So I did not realize I was. Whoops. Wait, what? Daha, my young assistant, you're back. Okay. Uh. North. All right, you rodents, spread out. Okay. Hey, fellas! Cheese! Oh, you are the clever one. Here's a gem. Okay. I guess they decided to be a little bit uneven. <laughs> I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you. <laughs> Oh. I've got gems, see? And plenty of them. Yeah. Major guy. You're doing all right. Ancient Egyptians gained knowledge for, of, of the world from knowing. From thieves. From mercy. You giants are headed to the... Egypt is one of the... Washington. First... One of the first of Egypt is one of the first of civilization. Hmm. Well, that doesn't do. Hmm. First places? Not okay. a bad gig, eh? I... Okay. Here's the gig. Move the correct stone. You guys are the real deal. You're big time. Good job, but like I said, I'm all cleaned out, see? They're little, but they've got what it takes, yeah. Okay, are we on the same page? Let's build more columns! Oh, okay, there we go. Now that's quality crap! Okay. Yeah. Hey. I will say that, like this, like this middle part of the game is my least favorite part of this game because it it, it, it does. So this game does have the problem of it dragging. Put this on in a safe bit. place like that. Uh, that backpack. Here. <laughs> huh? 
Uh -oh. Well done, my minions. You have returned with the ring. Oh. Now, quickly, return to the tomb and prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Oh, Soon, no. the ceremony begins. <gasps> Not the ancient contraption of chaos. I beg you to reconsider, Loveless. You're making a terrible mistake. Oh, am I, Professor? Am I? <laughs> uh oh. What did Alistair Love was up to? Here we go. We're back, and we have all. T Wrong button. Okay, so. So we can first just start off. Well, we can start off by just putting in the red stuff. Or putting in the blue stuff, because we know that. Adventurers you are. Only one more door to go. I'm afraid you'll need to go back to those All repugnant right. mice to gather up twelve. Alright. One more time. Let's do it. Fantastic! Fabulous places, everybody! Action! Roll em. Kids never quit. You've got character and guff. All right, you rodents, spread out. All right. Hey, fellas! Cheese! At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fresh out of gems, well, but I know here. you're wonderful. You'll work for yeah, free. Yeah, we're going to have to do a bit more. going to have to make eight cents Bonjour. now. You're just... The horse pulls the cart down the road. There we go. The honestly bird lands on the rock in the river. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. Nice. Here's another one. The ah. The verb lands near a robot. You and I, as a duo, we are magni- The eagle gra- uh, nacho the snack of the you understand my unique style, I no? Know. And now for another like masterpiece. Right. The large elbow bird will fly soar over. Uh, mom's 
Hedgehog. Heard. Your sentences are as are good as my drawings. Yeah, hey, pal, check out these hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. Oh, wrong button. Frick. Ooh, I'm so happy that you're back. I knew I could count on you. Well, Frick. Two rivers join together behind the pyramids or the, near the pyramids. Hmm, that... Okay, near the pyramids. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! Here's a not... Okay, the river cuts through the dry dryness desert. You understand my, my unique, unique style, style, no? no? It is marvelous to have your help, but for now I'm all out of gems. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank goodness. First chiroglyphs, now hieroglyphs? What next? Spiroglyphs. I don't know. I've got gems, see, and plenty of them. Yeah. A desert gets less. You're doing all right, see? Keep this up. Cairo is a large city as well as the capital. Nah. -uh. Hmm. The capital. You birds are Oops. sharp, real keen. Yeah, that's it. All right. None was. Known as the father of Ra and is shown Nah, -uh, see? Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. Oh, wait. way to go! You're saving me time. Let's go, you mu- Imhotep means come in oh, peace. You bird. Hathor was the godchild of or goddess of women. Okay, it's just easier to just do to just do another one instead of waiting. Okay, now I just need three more. Hey, we gotta stop meeting like this. Oh, don't worry, we will. Not quite. Ah. There we go. Oh, you could build your own. Okay, now. Uh. Aha. 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 That's a bit. There we go. Okay. Car garage? I wonder who's going to live in this palace once it's done. Hey, you could learn a lot hanging around this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
this one? Oh hey, there we go. Uh, not quite. <laughs> you earned it. Okay, you can still help, but <laughs> I won't be able to pay you. Well, we're finally done. Well, now that the ring is mine, we must prepare for the ceremony. Quickly, prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Oh, no. Oh, yes. With these ancient pistons and gears in place, this pyramid, long buried underground, will rise from beneath the tomb. And with the pyramid in place, we will be ready to conduct the ceremony. Soon, I will be the most powerful villain on Earth. <laughs> Most powerful villain. Come on, the locked door is just up ahead. We're back, and we have all twelve gems. Just take the gems from your back. First, we could just, just do this. Uh, oh, 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 up, but up, 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 okay. Then. There we go! Congratulations, my young friends! You may now enter the palace! But what you see inside may surprise you. I don't like surprises. Come on, Laptrap. You know that after all this work, there has to be something good in there for us. Well, let's check it out. All right, so let's do it. We're finally almost done with part two of this adventure. The ancients have set forth their challenge. None but the worthy and wise may cross the river on the bridge of crocodiles. Gotta get across that stretch of river. I guess we couldn't jump it, huh? Hmm. I remember reading that some ancient civilizations used to build their bridges in segments. Yes, that's it. Each of those crocodiles has a piece of a bridge on their head. If only we could find a way to knock those crocs into the water. Hey, look at that ancient mechanical device. I bet we could use it to lower the statues into the river. Uh, just drop in a ball. Point and launch. Are you sure it's as simple as that? Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. It's not quite that easy, young mortals. First, you'll need to move the launcher to the right position. Then, you must use the right force, angle, and mass. To start, choose a ball and place it in the launcher. Next, use the up and down arrows to choose an angle. Then, click along the track to move the launcher to the left or right. Finally, pull the plunger to set the correct force. Then, release the plunger to launch the ball. If the ball hits the target on a statue, the statue will lower into the river, forming a piece of the bridge. Choose a ball and put it... Okay, let's see what... Oh. Truly the wisdom demanded by... Ah. 
This might take a little bit. Yeah. I think a fly just tried it. not hit me. Like, how did that not work? That was a good oh. toss! Okay. Well. No. Truly an oh. impressive performance, oh tiny mortals! But you will need to further prove your valor. Mighty and <laughs> See, how high can this go? A full ninety degrees. Let's go. <laughs> You know, I want to know what happens if we just put in a... It's gonna take a while before it comes back down, isn't it? Truly, the wisdom demanded by this task is great! Use the markings along the hor- Fly flying around here. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there it, it came back down. A little too high. Solve the puzzle of the ancients and may cross. You are worthy champions. Oh. All right, let's go. Wow. What is this place? <coughs> Remember the obelisk on top of the palace? Yeah. I believe we're now inside it. That's crazy. We'd never fit inside that thing. You know, you would if it was magic. Oh. All right. What is going on? Hiya, kids. Welcome to our palace. We're, like, really happy to see you, man. Oh, you better tell him, Horus. Yes, time is of the essence. Okay, okay. We've been checking you kids out. You've got Spunk. I'm telling you, man. Each of you has intense gifts within you. Yeah, and since you've got a big battle with the forces of chaos coming up, we're going to enhance your gifts by giving you special powers. What? Uh, we fight the forces of chaos ourselves, but uh, uh, we've got a little hype problem. Anyway, you wacky kooky kids, get ready, because here it comes. Owen, flight! Let's see. Intelligence. Santiago, 
Strength Man. Johnny Bravery. Wow. Oh, wow. Neat. Squawk. Hey, nice spending time with you. Good luck, kids. All right. Look at the palace. Let's go, Clue Finders! And now we return to the tomb, and we're onward to the final, the final part of this adventure. This place feels really intense. This place feels- We're never going to rescue the professor unless we go into that pyramid. We're never going to res- we're never going to- Well, what have we here? Looks like a group of fresh young heroes. Unfortunately, I already had a hero sandwich for lunch. Who are you people, anyhow? We're the Clue Finders. We're gonna stop the forces of chaos. Ah, get out of here. Uh, no, really. No, really, get out of here. But to get out, you're gonna have to open the door by choosing the secret answer. Read the question on the door, then place the marker star in the slot next to the correct answer. That sounds simple enough. Simply says, I've been doing this for thousands of years and I still don't understand it. Keep on going. I'm pretty sure I put a right answer in there somewhere. Okay, which two months have the same difference between... Oh, the same difference between highest score and lowest score. April and May, right? Keep going. You can do it. I know you can. I've read no, the script. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Jan in January and April? There we go. Frick. Let's go. We have to find the professor. So All right, well, bye. Haven't we seen you before? I don't think so. In fact, I'm not sure I'm seeing you now. You might be something I ate. Okay. Okay, which, in which month did Osiris take three times as many trips... Uh, did Isis take it to three times as many trips as Osiris? That was a good effort, kids. I'd give you a hand, but I only have pause. Oh, wait. Three times as many trips as Osiris. I... Oh, I thought I, I thought I already tried April. Whoops. You kids solved this one with style, which is more than I can say for the decor. You kids solved this one with style. We'd better get moving down that corridor. Uh, the professor's in there. We'd better get moving down. Oh, there we go. Well. We must be going around in circles. Actually, I'd say you were going around in a pyramid. Okay, the difference between the total number of trips taken by Isis and Osiris during these five months. Six. 
to. Actually, wait, four. Congratulations. I don't think I've ever seen such a brilliant performance. Now move along so I can rehearse my speech for the next group of young adventurers. There we go. All right. Hello, young mortals. Welcome oh. to the Chasm of Peril. I am Thoth, embodiment of knowledge. Wow! I remember reading about you in my Egyptian mythology book. <laughs> it is good that you are well read, for you will need to use your full mastery of language to overcome this obstacle. You will need to spell words Pick up the letter tiles from the ground and place them upon the empty spots on the bridge over the chasm. I will tell you each word you must spell to complete the bridge. Spelling our way out of trouble? This is going to be great! Spell this word. Artificial. Things created by man are artificial. Things made by nature are natural. Artificial. Okay, A. Nope, nope. R. T. I. F. I. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. For your next challenge, spell this word, Typhoon. A typhoon is a severe tropical storm that occurs in the Western Pacific Ocean and the China Sea. Typhoon. T-Y-P-H-O-O-N. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. Okay. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell column. Each massive stone column supported walls and ceilings in ancient Egyptian temples. Column. be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. Uh -huh. To further demonstrate your knowledge, try this word. Medieval. During medieval times, crusaders invaded many ancient lands and looted treasured artifacts. Medieval. Truly, you are wise and worthy. Now spell this word. Fascinating. Archaeology is a fascinating field of study. Fascinating. Fascinating. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. Now spell this word. Caution. 
I must caution you to proceed with great care, for the way ahead is full of danger. Caution. indeed to solve these difficult challenges. For your next problem. challenge, spell this word, occurred. The chemical reaction occurred three hours after the experiment began. Occurred. Done. Show your approval, my baboons. <laughs> well, I guess we did it. I got to stop this. You will do no such thing. Seize him! Oh dear. Nothing can stop me now, Professor. Not you, and not your meddling students. And now, we will begin the ceremony! <laughs> oh no... Another door? I can't oh, wait no. to get out of these tunnels. Tunnels? We must be in a subway station. No wonder my plane hasn't shown up yet. Go. See you in the funny papers. Of course, if you're in them, they couldn't be all that funny. Ow! Rude. Oh, man! It's that freaky dude with the head of a lion. And the heart of a field mouse. Ironic, isn't it? It's been a pleasure, as always. And I always enjoy seeing you kids, though I enjoy it more when you're on the other side of the door. We'd better get... This guy is ruthless. It's ruthless. We can't rescue the... You're back, working your way through college, eh? Actually, you look a little too young for college. Junior college, maybe. How do you learn to be a junior? Here, here Thank you for stopping by. Maybe one of these days you can catch one of my shows at the palace. The current oh. picture is called Laugh Yourself Horace, as opposed to my last picture, which was Horace Feathers. Oh, well. Well. Okay. All right, more spelling. You have progressed well so far. But you must again prove yourselves worthy of entry into the deeper realms of the pyramid. When I give you a word, use the letter tiles on the ground to fill in the empty spots on the bridge. Spell the word correctly to extend the bridge. Circular. Botanists calculate the age of a tree by counting the circular rings in a cross section of its trunk. Circular. I really wish I could type these in, but whatever. It's just a little bit hard to get the... A little bit hard to navigate since the, the, my mouse worked in the... Well, so the mouse is a bit too fast for, the, for this resolution. Truly, you are wise and worthy. To further demonstrate your knowledge, try this word. Exclaimed. The scientist exclaimed, Eureka, I have found it. Exclaimed. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. 
For your next challenge, spell this word, monotonous. The landscape of the Sahara may seem monotonous because there is sand as far as the eye can see. Monotonous. I don't like sand. Pretty much. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. Yeah. Now spell this word. Obvious. The meaning of the hieroglyphs wasn't obvious at first, but linguists finally deciphered this ancient script in 1799. Obvious. Huh. I wonder how these, how these ancient tombs know about future stuff. The future events that happened after, like long after You must be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell travel. Caravans travel across the desert today much as they did thousands of years ago. Travel. Truly, you are wise and worthy. Alright then. This ring gives me the power to command you! Awake, Set, and grant me the power of ultimate chaos! I command you! Huh? My ring! Come back here! Welcome to the deeper reaches of the pyramid. Of course you could tell that just by looking, couldn't you? You had better go on and find your professor friend. I remember I once poked a professor in the temple. How he got into my temple, I'll never know. <laughs> Good one. We're getting a little impatient with all this. Good thing you're not doctors, then. I'm glad I'm not one of your impatients. Okay, two hours to work. The Iron Forge. Um, 15 minutes. Uh, oh. Say, can't you tell us how to get through these tunnels? I don't know about you, but the rest of my script is blank white paper. You know, I've often thought that I wouldn't explore a pyramid that would have me as a guardian. But then what do I know? Okay. Young Hippo weighed 425 and 3 fourths. Keep going. You can do it. I know you can. I've read the script. Yeah, okay. Say, can't you tell us how to get through these tunnels? That's a good question. I'm very glad you asked that question. I beat it. Wow, this, I love this guy. <laughs> I love the... I love the Sphinx guy. <laughs> I see that you have made progress deep into the pyramid. 
but the way ahead of you is long and arduous still. To cross the chasm, you must build a bridge. Uh -huh. Spell the words I give you by yep. using the letter tiles to fill in the empty spots on the bridge. Yep. Device. Early Egyptian architects used a device called the cubit rod to measure land area. Device. Device. Not the vice, the vice. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. No. Time to bridge the gap. To further demonstrate your knowledge, Let try this word. Convenience. A modern convenience, like running water, is often not available when digging at an ancient archaeological site. Convenience. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh thanks. Th thanks, Monk, for the... Thanks, thanks, yes. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Monk, for the... for the... for the stuff. Yes. Also, hi. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. Now spell this word. Antonym. An antonym for ancient is modern. Antonym. Antonym? What about Uncle Nim? Truly, you are wise and worthy. For your next challenge, spell this word. Dehydrated. During mummification, a special salt called natron dehydrated the body by removing its water. Dehydrated. indeed to solve these difficult challenges. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell skeptical. Scientists are skeptical of results that can't be repeated when they do the experiment again. Skeptical. indeed to solve these difficult challenges mm -hmm. I mean th like this is for fourth this is meant for fourth graders and I did set it to the highest difficulty so these words are, are a little bit tricky for fourth graders I imagine oh thanks for the ring you People like you give chaos a bad name. Huh. And now I grow fatigued by your foolishness. Yeah, I, I think I think Martin A definitely like channeled Luigi, like a little bit of Luigi into that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're getting really tired of seeing you around here. You think this is tiring? Try sitting around staring at the same word problem for a thousand years. What are you kids waiting for? If you want to get away from my jokes, you have to go through that door. I wish I could. Oh, well, sad. <laughs> you know, are we ever, are we even going upstairs or are we just, oh, actually, I guess there are stairs before the crosswords, but whatever. Sheesh, look at the riffraff around here. It's getting so they'll let any group of superpower juveniles in. Oh, oh. Man, when I was trying to grow a plant five inches tall. But the first week it grew to be two and a half. Second week it grew another one and a fourth. How much more? Okay, so. That was terrific. Kids like you don't grow on trees, although many of the things that do are higher in vitamin C. <laughs> higher in vitamin C than me. Heyo! Oh great, more crafts. I'd like to be the first to welcome you to what must undoubtedly be your favorite pyramid-enclosed weight problem chamber. Yes. Of course, I'll probably be the last to welcome you as well. Oh great. Okay. Which ones have the biggest difference between the highest score and the lowest score? Well, it's been great working with you. You're now in the inner reaches of the pyramid, so you won't have to solve any more problems on these doors. Maybe I'll see you in the next adventure. Not okay. if we see you first, dude. Leave the comedy to me, kid. <laughs> okay, I guess there is a little bit of slope, I guess. And we can't go back, so... Alright, this is the last one. You are on the verge of finding that which you seek. Solve this ancient challenge one final time. Right. When I give you a word, use the letter tiles on the ground to fill in the empty spots on the bridge. Spell the word correctly to extend the bridge. Okay. Thermometer in the sweltering desert heat. Oh. Spell this word. Thermometer. In the sweltering desert heat, the thermometer can reach up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Thermometer. Thermometer. Like, I do, like, I do say the, like, like, I do have the habit of saying words weirdly, but it, it honestly does help, like, remember, help me remember how to spell some of the, some words by saying it, like, Truly, it you are wise and worthy. For your next challenge, spell this word, rhythm. Rattles were used to help keep the steady rhythm of ceremonial chants. Rhythm. Okay, this is this is the word that I honestly have have a lot of trouble with. Okay, I think I got it. I always think there's an N in this. But well yeah. done. Show your approval, my baboons. <laughs> now spell this word. Physical. By mummifying their dead, ancient Egyptians prevented the physical deterioration of the body. Physical. Let's go food. No, no, not physical. Not physical. Not, not, no, there's no J. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. 
To further demonstrate your knowledge, try this word. Launch. The Soviet Union was the first country to ever launch a spacecraft into orbit. Launch. Once again, I, I reiterate, how do they, how do, do these ancient, like these ancient Egyptian gods learn of all this? Or like learn of these things? Or these ancient, like, do, have they been studying while they, like while we've been, like while underground? You must be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. The yes. bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell anxious. The trapped animal felt restless and anxious in its cage. Anxious. Oh, mood. The trapped animal felt rest. You must be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. All right, we did it. Woohoo! Enjoy the show. Professor Bunch! Kids, what have we here? Even punier humans. Who are you calling human? <laughs> Just a minute! You can't mummify me, Set! I am your master! I command you to... Yes, yes, yes. I grow fatigued. Ah! Oh, oh, bye! And now to you, tiny ones. Hey, big bully! You don't scare us! We're here to stop you. Uh, how are we gonna do that, Joni? Yes. How indeed do you propose to do that, my friend? I am, after all, set. I am chaos. And you must do as I say, for I am very big. And you are very, very small. Oh dear. Perhaps we should just run. No way. We've got a plan. Right, Leslie? A plan! Ah! <laughs> oh, magic plan. That's right. Joni, you distract him. Hey! Over here, you overgrown aardvark! Owen, you fly Santiago up to those pistons. Ready, buddy? I'll leave. Santiago, push those pistons back in. Uh, uh, almost. We did it! What? How did you, but you distracted me. The pistons are the first. No, no! The, the pyramid's collapsing. Get me out of here! No! Oh, oh bye. up because it was time to head home. Me? I was traveling incognito, so I wouldn't have to ride cargo. You kids really saved the day. Yeah, we stopped that set dude, but good. And the artifacts were all recovered and returned to their rightful places. Including the ring. And the scroll. Right, and I guess Alistair Lovelace won't be bothering Egypt or us again. Good riddance. It'll be too soon the day I see that man again. Congratulations! You, your help enabled the clue fighters to save the day in their Egyptian adventure. Do you want to brave these dangers again and take a break? 
Or take a break. Uh, uh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that was... Yeah, that, that was Clue Finder's fourth grade adventures. <sighs> yeah. A bit, like, a, a bit on the longer side compared to... Like, like compared to, to the... Like compared to third grade, but I mean, I I mean I. So I did like, you want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, I, I you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. They uh, they made it so that, like, it, well, like I understand, like from an educational point of view, point of view, I, like I think it was better that they had you read, that you had to, that they had you do, some of the like some of these mini games more than just once like or at least or forced it at least but at the same time it was a bit more tedious and a bit more repetitive because like it's basically three chapters like and the middle chapter with, the, with all the mice stuff it can really drag on also what happened yeah but yep choose the activity you want to practice click on my buttons for all Anyway, just gonna. And yet, there he is, Charles Martinet, voicing Sir Alistair Lovelace. Like, so if, if anyone thought I was being, I, I was talking out my butt, there you go. Anyway. But, yeah. Anyway, that is a lot of, like, beeping sounds. Use the keyboard to sign in. Yeah. At your own risk. I hate being yep. right okay. all the time. Okay. So yeah, that's that's what happens if you like if you try again. Though what I find interesting is that like okay, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna oh, whoops, wrong one. Like it is the man. And this was and this was this was after he Charles Martinet became the voice of Mario, so this wasn't so this was wasn't like him before, like pre, you know. Uh. Give me a second, cause just wanted to show something real quick. Um, gonna need to actually get this working. Mafra took another animal last night. Everyone is terrified. Laugh trap. Mafra is just an old Numerian superstition. There's a simple explanation for what's happening. But yeah, so, like just a review for the for the well, for the first game on, or third grade adventures. And sign your name on this uh, piece of so, paper. so yeah, like you know how okay fourth grade they let you re they let you replay the game over and over again after you beat it, but for this one, like for the first game. They just give you this. Like, you have already won the game. Choose a different name or add a new player. So, yeah. I think that, like, so they probably just decided to add, decided, like, realized that that would probably add too many names to the list, especially since you can't delete names. You can't delete names in this game. So, yeah. So, Third Grade Adventures does not let you restart. So, I guess that's why they decided to go with the whole, like, circular plot kind of thing, I guess. But yeah. Anyway, whew, that took that took up like three and a half hours. Not not bad. But holy cow. Mm. What the 
frick? The heck? I'll have to look at that like after I after the stream. <laughs> Boy, frick, that does not that sounds unreal. Just from looking at the like at the link. Oh boy. Anyway, so. So anyway, I have, a, I have an idea of who we're going to be raiding, but what's going to be our raid message for tonight? I also have an idea for that, but let's see. Uh, ugh. Nose, nose hairs, I swear. You know what? Sure. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, yeah, there was also, like, I'm an evil villain and I'm up to no good. <laughs> like, I'm not... <laughs> but, yeah, I, but, yeah, that's, but you give Chaos a bad name is also good. A good one. But, yeah, um, like, yeah, early on it was a bit, bit of a slog, but... Like, I'm glad things picked up at, at the end. At the end there. But yeah, um, we're, let's go raid, uh, let's go raid a frame. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. And, yeah, we'll go. And, uh, yeah, we'll be play. like, we'll just... Go at that and tell her all about how we just defeated chaos and and stuff. And like, but yeah, you know what the best part about this is that this isn't the only time Charles Martinet shows up or voices a character in the Clue Fighters games. I think he he voices like three like in two like he reprises a, a few roles in in one game and then and then he's like. And he comes back as another voice in two other games, so the so the three other games after this that he that he voices for the Clue Finders games, and then I just find that amazing. <laughs> and two of like two of the characters he voices are villains, <laughs> so so yeah, so yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. Have a good night, everyone. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I don't know why I'm waving. Yeah.